Hey, what it do, what it do, what it does, YouTube world. It's the boy Renaissance in here, man. I got this uh, room I'm finna do. We doing paint prep, tips and tricks to get it done. Easy, man, rock with me. I'ma start with this. Um, the materials that you need to uh, go ahead and get started with the prep. All right, I got my M18 Red Lithium Milwaukee. It's pretty cool, nice little impact. I got my East Wing Hammer. I got a Craftsman flathead. I got some frog tape, and I got some Sherwin Williams shrink-free spatula. So those are the things I'm gonna be using. Oh, and I also got this rag. The rag is to wipe any uh, dust or debris from the uh, baseboard. So here we go. This is the uh, room we're gonna be prepping. I got uh, the closets cut in. Nice, real crispy cut in. You know, trying to keep the paint off the ceiling. We're not painting the ceiling in this room, but if we get paint on the ceiling, we will be painting it. So we want to try to avoid doing that. I already got the closets prepped off, taped real tight, and I got them cut in. All right, now this is what we're going to be prepping. We're going to be hitting these baseboards with the frog tape, the doorway, this baseboard. We're going to be removing outlet covers. We're going to be filling holes like this little guy here. There's another one. I'll be filling those with the shrink-free spackle. There's another little bitty hole. Um, run tape around that doorway and just basically work our way around. And uh, what I like to do is do everything in stages. So I'll probably fill the holes first because the shrink-free spackle, it needs a few minutes to dry, 15 to 20 minutes before we put paint on it. Um, I'm not gonna be painting for a little bit over an hour. So it'll be plenty of time to dry. We'll pull those nails. That's what the East Wing is for. And uh, we'll get them filled up, take, take all of this stuff, we'll get this bar down and any other, oh, like this register, we'll get this down, we'll pull it down. We won't paint around it, we'll just pull it down, paint it, and then put it back. Tape around this door and outlet covers. All right, you probably, probably can see that this baseboard is dusty. So that's what the rag is for. I'm gonna wipe that out of there. Quick wipe. <clears throat> and then we're gonna run some tape. Now what I like to do is kind of get an idea on what I'm gonna be covering. Run my tape to about that length, maybe a little bit over. And then I place the tape in. Start in the corner. and I'm just using my thumb to press it down in there. Now, if it was dusty, it wouldn't stick. And if it did stick, it wouldn't stick well. What some people do, I'll show you a couple different tricks is, once you get it on there, wipe it with the rag and that'll help seal it. This is pretty good stuff. And I like to let it float because when I'm painting, Sometimes there may be a drip or two and the tape will catch it. So it gives you just like an extra inch of protection. And one cool trick I like to do for the corners is break the tape on an angle. This can go right in the corner with ease. Check that out. Close up. See how nice and tight that tape is? <clears throat> what we want to do is keep it off the walls because once you pull the tape, if you have it on the wall, that area that's covered with tape won't be painted and you'll have to get down here again and then put paint in there. So we like to keep it real tight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. stick to this you see what I'm saying so gotta get rid of that and to do 
that. And it's usually just level surfaces. Like the size of the door jam, I don't have to lighten them down. They don't have any dust.
So I did these two in the flat method. There's one there and there's one there. Okay, these two I'm gonna feel slightly differently. What I'm gonna do is depress them. And by depressing them, I mean I'm just gonna 
create the slightest depression. That way the mud has somewhere to sit or the spackle has just a little bit of a depression. So these will take a little bit more spackle to fill. All right, bear with me. I'm just wiping the excess off. Just wipe that little bit of excess off. Pretty smooth. Won't even be noticeable. As you can see, got everything prepped up. See that? Nice and tight. We're gonna keep that paint off, off that trim. Outlet covers off. These little holes filled. Got all my holes filled. Couple that was over here. And that's how you prep for paint. Yeah.